So today I am off to Flamingo Land, a place that I've not been to actually, well I have, I've been before, um, I went about over 10 years ago, I don't actually remember it very well, I don't think I did many rides, I remember doing Mumbo Jumbo, Velocity, in fact I did that so many times, I love that ride. A, uh, I think it was the corkscrew, like a white coaster, which absolutely uh, killed my head. And um, a, like a monorail kind of ride where you had to pedal. Well, that's all I remember, and I know there's a zoo, but today I'm gonna be able to see what's there now. And I believe there's a sick coaster there. I don't know what it's called. Now, I'm sure you'll appreciate that, the fact that I'm not with Theo. Theo will be at school, I'm going midweek but I will be joining two other people in this video anyway. And uh, he's no stranger to the channel. He's been on it a couple of times with me, uh, incidentally at theme parks as well. Um, and you might be thinking this is not my forte. It's not, but it's nice to do something different. I do like going to theme parks now and again. And this one is um, one that I've not been to in so long. I'm just driving down the Eden Way in Blackpool but um, it's uh, two hours and 50 minutes to go. It is currently quarter past seven in the morning and I'll be there just after 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm absolutely knackered from uh, waking up earlier than normal. I think it's gonna be a tiring day. red and white. Oh, it's at the bottom. There's no one here. Literally no one here. Oh, there they are. <laughs> I've spotted them. Well, I finally made it. It looks like that road was okay after all because, well, you know, I obviously drove in, didn't I? And I thought to myself, um, was I going the right way? Like I said in the intro before, I've not been here for about over 10 years. It looks nothing like how I remember it. Those two people who are joining me today, regulars to the channel. Hello! I'm with Mark and Stephen. Well, Mark is the, uh, what do we call you? The uh, superstar. Yeah. 
Super fan. Are you, are you, I was going to say, you're the Flamingo super fan? Flamingo land super fan. I'm shaking and I don't know why. It's the excitement of running sick. Yeah, no, it's just behind us, isn't it? Stephen's coming on as well. Is he? Oh. Stephen's wet already. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what are you two being up to? I think, I think some of the mist on sick. <laughs> Uh, we've just seen it go round, that chain lift is rapid. It's very, very quick, isn't it? So Mark's messaged Flamingo Land already uh, about filming on rides, because I'm not fi I'm not familiar with the park. To be honest with you, I don't watch any videos of the park, so I've not even seen Sick go round on a video. And I know you can film and you need permission and everything, but it's been all approved and everything and you need certain criteria of um, like strapping. Or sort of thing here. Yeah. I knew you'd laugh at that one. <laughs> uh, which we've got. So hopefully we'll be able to get some um, on-ride POVs. A bit like a, a funfair vlog, like I normally do. But obviously this is completely out of my nature. I did do a, uh, a vlog at Alter Towers earlier this year and you can't film there. Um, I'm very cold. <laughs> That's why it's shaking a little bit. But um, I'm not going to do a tour or anything, but we'll see most of the rides anyway. They've got a zoo here. There's Velocity that I remember last time. Really like Velocity. That's just there. It's like a, it's a bit like Rita, but you're on bikes. And then there's that, I think, is that? I don't know what that is. No idea what that is. Uh, they've got a, a suspended looping coaster over there. Mumbo Jumbo, I think, is over there as well, actually. There it is. And then they've got that drop tower. I do remember the drop tower being red and white. It used to be, it's actually still got red and white at the bottom, but it used to be red and white all the way up. It used to look like a lighthouse. So yeah, totally different video. Right, Have we got a, like an IT? Oh, so you're getting ready with that. It's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my chest mount as well. I'm going to see if I can do it without the chest mount because it's not the same. Well, it might be. I don't know. I'll have to see. Are we? Uh, are we doing this bad boy first? Yeah, we've got sick. Sick. This opened this year. It's literally a month old, I think. I do love roller coasters. I'm at a theme park, still can't speak. Um, I do love roller coasters. I'm also, I need to get photos for Theo and everything because Theo's really, uh, <laughs> Theo found out we came here and he's a bit, not upset, but he's at school anyway. So it'll be good to have a look around what availability is for Theo at his age and height. Um, anyway, to be able to see if it's worth bringing him. I look forward to bringing you this vlog. Look at this for a station. Wow. No expenses spared in here, that's for sure. All right, all good like this. Cool. Pretty rapid. Oh, yes. <laughs> Woohoo!
POV of uh, of it, but because uh, you have to wear chest mounts on this, it's at a weird angle, so you might see my nose a lot. <laughs> yeah, look. We're, we're at the back as well. Right, here we go. Oh my god! <laughs> what a crazy ride that was. You get absolutely drenched, don't you, on that mist? My face and hair and everything's up. It's like I've been on Valhalla. <laughs> absolutely. That's brilliant, though. It's such a good ride. I think I it's agree. much better than Thor Park's version because of the lap bars. It hasn't got the over um, the shoulder restraint, so the lap bars make it much more comfortable. Oh, it's brilliant. So, what I did mention before about filming on there, you can film, but one, you kind of need permission, so make sure you do get permission before you get here. Uh, which is what they asked for that we had permission in the first place and they only allow chest mounts at the moment on this ride uh, we did try and go on with the mount well with the handlebar moment they have suspended that sort of option at the moment so you have to go on with chest mount they're really cheap to buy but we went on it twice we did front row and back row back row was very juddery it was quite jolty it was uh, quite vibrating yeah was, you might have heard, was, heard that and also <laughs> tripped up uh, as well a, a different kind of POV because I wouldn't have been able to get it on myself. Oh, he's looking at merch. You wouldn't miss you in that, would you? Sponsored by... What's it called? Sick Silk? Yeah. It's <laughs> alright. Um, obviously, I got a bit of an upshot. So, kind of a reaction cam, but I have no idea how that came out. So, something to watch back on. But, yeah, really good. We'll probably be on that several times today. We're not filming every time, obviously. Especially with no queue. There's no queues at all for anything. There's probably about a handful of people in the park, so plenty of riding today. Someone's very excited. And um, yeah, in fact, you waited about five, ten minutes before it actually goes because yeah. we, we didn't jump off. We just stayed on, but moved to the back to experience a different, but nice to try different areas as well. Yeah, that ride. Right, on to the next ride, which is, I don't know, we're just going to walk around. Do you want to try this Damn, hero? Let's go on hero. <laughs> well, we're just going to probably walk around as we go around. There's this ride called Hero. Now, I'm not sure how you film this because you lay down. I've heard mixed reviews about this. It's very unique. Oh, we're just taking a ride on Hero. Unfortunately, can't film on this one at the moment. Uh, but uh, yeah, you would have heard our reaction in some ways. That was um, <laughs> it was unusual. Yeah, it wasn't quite as bad as I was expecting. Paul was on the outside. I was on the sort of like middle one. So maybe that made it a bit smoother. But um, it wasn't as bad as I was expecting. But it's rather. Open. All I'm going to say is it's an experience. And um, there's no view for it. No view's going back. On yeah. The side. I wonder why. <laughs> it does say there, don't go on if you've got any back or neck problems. So that's why no one goes on it again. I've got all of those problems. I shouldn't go on <laughs> yeah. any of these things. But it's definitely one to do if you've never done it before. It's weird because you, you, you stand up in it 
It gave me a bit of anxiety actually because it's like you're held in in a weird position, but once you go round, it's fine. But it's that first cut, that first curve where it proper throws you over, and then it goes upside down. I didn't even realise it actually flipped. I just thought it went round. So yeah. We'll go on again. Yeah, maybe later, but unfortunately, it's a shame you can't film. Theo is <laughs> 1.27. Theo is actually tall enough to do it. I wouldn't put Theo on that thing. Yeah. It's too cruel. Cruel daddy. <laughs> Please enter via exit. Looks like we've got to go this way. 1.3 ride. This is Kamali. This is the suspended looping coaster. For some reason, I thought this was the same as layout as infusion but it's no, nothing it's like it completely different right it's probably twice the size for a start this isn't as um as boisterous as infusion i'll tell you what this looks like this just looks like a boomerang well that bit doesn't but so if you do uh let's say that goes up and then down and then does its bit there and then this is the station pretty massive very well themed this wasn't open last time i came so i've not done this before but this is a 1.3 ride. Theo is very close. Look how high this is. This is probably the uh, tallest one I've done. I've not done the one at Fantasy Island yet. I think that's 1.3 as well. Do you know what I've noticed? I've not seen that swing yet. It's that weird looking star flyer to the right. I'm not so sure if the camera's picking that up. It's actually quite a lot here for kids, isn't there? was the ride of Kamali. Tell you what, because I was comparing that to Infusion, it's a lot shorter than it looks. It's quite a long track. It looks long because obviously it's very spacious of where it all goes. Well, I timed it it's before and it was short. about 45 seconds, which I thought would have been longer, but it's a nice smooth ride. But yeah, it does, does look longer than it should be. It's very mean. smooth. In fact, I just mentioned there when I was watching it go around and you can't even hear the brakes. It's absolutely silent. 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 So yeah. Lovely theme in as well. Love, love the. Uh, it's just, I, I mean, I've never been to America, but this is, I'm assuming what it's a bit like there, isn't it? Really. It's a bit like Six Flags. Yeah, that's what I'm comparing it to. Right. Well, next to the entrance of here is one coaster. We have got Mumbo Jumbo to the side. We're going to go on this next. I have done this before, and I I can't. I don't know when it opened. I I'm, I thought you would have known. I've got no idea, Paul. But I'm sure I came here. It just after it opened which was about 2010 time, uh, roughly. So um, yeah, I, I did it when it was brand new. So I'm looking forward to riding this again. It was dubbed when it opened the um, the world's steepest coaster. Not sure about the world's or UK's, but look at it. It's absolutely rapid.
the speed of that chain lift. Quick, isn't it? The are comfortable. Speed of that! <laughs> oh my life! <laughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how I've not sworn yet. Oh, oh. I am definitely sat on the wrong side. <laughs> oh, oh my, my God, life, no. what is this? That was an amazing ride that, really good. Mumbo Jumbo completed. I have done it before. It might, <laughs> my reaction as you go round probably didn't sound like I've done it before. But um, like I say, it's been a long time since I've done it. It's really good, isn't it? It's a really good ride. I think that's my favorite ride so far of the day. Absolutely loved it. It's definitely, definitely a novelty kind of ride. It's not your average coaster. The fact that you do, oh, it, it just, you just don't know what's going on. If you've never done it before, you'd probably be a bit like, what was that? <laughs> but it's really good to a point we'll play, hopefully go on it again a little bit later. But you're saying top ride. I think. Beat sick, does well, it? Well, I loved sick as well. We need to go on it a few more times and it was brilliant, but I think that was more fun. Yeah. Love them both, I love them it's both. It's proper nippy as well, isn't it? That 1.22. This means Theo can actually ride that. I think there's a few rides that he can do here from what I've seen because he's, he's just, I think he's 1.28 unofficially. So he can do mumbo, mumbo Jumbo and he can do whatever the other ride was. Can't remember, I didn't really look. <laughs> oh yeah, the hero ride, he can do that. So maybe it's worth getting Theo here. Steven's been to see the giraffes. Oh yeah, there's a zoo in there. Yeah, we'll have to go to the zoo and see the flamingos. Yeah. No, for me was the yet. um was the, the the water ride open? No, it was closed. It's no. closed. It's open later, it? You have to go to Funfest to get people waving it, it's, isn't it? It's got to open there later on the water ride. Oh, it is. Yeah. Well, it's got, I think it. I think it will. I don't know. Yeah, I think it. Velocity it had a time session on it as well, didn't yeah. they? It said it opens a bit later. Was no water in the trough. Oh. Right. Shall we see if we can go on? Is it called Cliffhanger? Cliffhanger. Yeah. So I've not actually seen this, but is it? It does both. It does. It drops and it shoots. I don't know if they do it all the time or whether it's just seasonal, but yeah, it shoots you up and it stops at the top and it uh, drops you down. Ooh, this would be quite interesting then. Steven's coming down this. Oh yeah. He's coming down this. <laughs> Let's see what the height is for this. 1.32. Yeah, Theo can't do that one. Generators go. <laughs> Get that air pumped in. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Now this is a um, probably the rarest shot tower you'll come across. As it goes, it, it's a drop tower at the same time. Oh my god! What the heck was that? Was that air pressure down? I think it must have been. That wasn't just a drop, that was a pull down, wasn't it? That was excellent. Oh, let's go back. Wow. Oh, that was pretty <laughs> What the heck? 
was that? That was insane, that. That was absolutely unbelievable. I think I that's th the best drop tower I've ever been on. I was about to say, that it's not a drop tower, is it? It's a pressured drop tower. You know, like I say, I've not seen any videos or anything about these rides. I was not expecting that at all. The shoot up, yeah, I've done it before. I've done it several times at many parks. I knew there was a drop element to it, but it was pressured. Like... It, like, forces you down. It doesn't just drop, it absolutely pumps you down from the top by yeah, the looks of yeah. it. By the so it's like a it. reverse of what it's doing. It's, it must have uh, both up thrust and down thrust. That was, oh, that was amazing. That's up there is one of my favorite rides and the best shot tower that I've actually done. This is the um, their water ride that they have here. I've not done this before. I don't remember doing it last time anyway. I think they've got a few rides that are on, opening at certain times because they've just literally turned the water onto this. It's only um, just come on now. So hopefully we'll get to see some action of it flying through here with a test to see how wet you get. But Stephen, not Stephen, Mark, should I say, what, he's what, being what? a girl and he's like, I don't want don't to get wet. That. I don't want to get wet. I might go on later on, like at five to close in time. Yeah, is that because your GoPro is not waterproof? Is that why? It is waterproof. Yeah, whatever. Just having a little uh, uh, zoo uh, talk with the hippos, uh, but they don't evening, seem very interested. The like, I don't think they care, do they? No, I think, morning, I think oh, it's that guy um, talking again. To <laughs> come to watch the hippos. <laughs> 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 um, before we only eat grass and vegetation. Woke up now. Hippos feed at night time where it's a bit cooler. They spend 16 to 17 hours a day in the water and then when it cools down and gets darker under the cover of darkness, they come out onto the land and they feed. Hippos can feed on over 35 kilograms of grass every single night. So they do eat a lot of food and they will always stay... So having a little walk through the zoo area that's all uh, included here and mark is looking for flamingos oh they're there yeah <laughs> yeah mark's been uh, searching for flamingos seeing as the name of the park is flamingo land. it's steven's favorite animal a flamingo all right is it an animal or is it a, what do you call flamingos a bird <laughs> oh look at them term is bird. oh look how cute they are you found the flamingos. like a little dark right this, whatever it is. I can't see where you're going. What is it? I think it's just like a dark ride. Oh, it's like a little trap thing. Oh, you know what it's going to look like? That one and all that. Can I check it Yeah. It's pretty bad. I seem to remember this ride. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not too 
sure if this car's meant to spin or not. This was like a popular ride a few years ago with with um, like a branding. <laughs> Is that a toilet? This car should be spinning if I'm honest with you. <laughs> that turns to the direction, oh my god. Well that wasn't. in here actually. Is this the ride that is this the ride you really wanted to do? There was this was my highlight of the day, the Mischief Mansion. That's, oh, right. um, was why, why do I think that was a branding years ago? Well, it's it's got, that looks like Nickelodeon splash on the side. Yeah. I don't know if that's just my imagination. But I thought it was called. I'm sure there's a, like a branding called Little Monsters, and there's I thought a, that's what it was called. Well, there's a lot of signage, but it looks like they've taken signage down, so maybe it was called that. Yeah, it's a usual dark ride. I would say it's I, more I, for the very young children. Yeah, definitely. Well, having said that, I don't even think Theo would have liked that, if I'm honest with you. I wouldn't have thought so. It's not mm. quite um, up to scratch, I don't think, with Theo. It's well done, though. They could probably add some audio into it, because there wasn't really any music, but no. I don't know. Do you not feel like the cars should have rotated in directions of where you were meant to well, be facing? Where you see things. I thought the cars were going to rotate because they're round cars, but maybe they did back in the day. But a lot of the scenes and the sets were behind you, so you couldn't see a lot, but... I think it's quite a vintage ride. One of the first to be built here. Mm -hmm. Sort of different, I guess. Oh, there's a spinny tower right there. Yeah. We've we've oh, done there. the zoo, so we've walked around the zoo area. So there would have been a few clips, but there's quite there's quite a lot to see, isn't there? We've come really far out into the park, and they've got they've got two monorails. One monorail what goes back and forth, a bit like a cable car system. Having think said that, I don't know, did there used to be a cable ca car system yeah, here? There was a cable car here until a few years ago. Just thought then there used to be cable cars here. Yeah, I don't know where that would have been situated. But the um, monorail, and then you would have played briefly seen a bit of a clip of an orange monorail that goes over an enclosure. So they do have um, rides over there. And they've got a Peter Rabbit section, like an adventure play. A lot of catering over there. There was a bar over there, there's a Costa over there. Um, yeah, there's so much to do over there. And there's actually a few rides over there as well, mainly for kids. May I add, all the main rides are uh, back down here, so it is quite split into two. They've even got a go gator. Children only, Paul. Oh, does it actually say? It's saying they're children only. So anyone that wants the coaster creds can't, which the uh, few people oh, do do shame. count them, don't they? I would go on that if I was allowed. <laughs> go on, ask him, might give you a little sneaky go. I don't go on it, I know. Yeah, <laughs> worth a try. <laughs> I would have loved to have seen you go round. I demand a refund. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they'll let you go on with a kid though. So if I brought Theo, I don't know. I don't think so. Don't think you could fit in. Have you seen how small it is? Uh, it does actually say. It is actually a travelling. Children only. It is a travelling red though. Uh, so that'll be why. Mm -hmm. Right, we need to go and find somewhere to eat, don't we? <laughs>
Yeah, well, yeah, I'm starving. Should we go on some food before we go on the next ride? <laughs> yeah. we, we need to find out when... For, oh, what's this? Should we have a look over here? Should we have a look at this course then? Yeah, because I'm trying to see what's here. Um, like, everything that's here. They've got loads of different sections, and obviously I haven't got a map, so I've gone proper blind in this one. I like doing like stuff like that, so it surprises me. Like, some people watch videos of a place to see what's here, so they know what's here. Me, I'm the opposite. <laughs> That's why I go blind at fairgrounds as well. There's like a dino section, a little plane right there. This is a spinning coaster. This has got to be one to go on. Yeah, we'll go on that. Should we go on it? Twistosaurus. Guinness World Record, the oldest person to ride a roller coaster. 105 on his 105th birthday. Wow. Oh, and they've got this, whatever this is, the star flyer, but not. That is the weirdest star flyer I've ever seen. It's like half of it's missing. <laughs> they've got quite a lot around here. They've got um, like a Nessie coaster. A wheel as well. There's loads going on in this section here. They have um, a train as well that goes round, but I don't think that train's working today. We're going to try and find some places to eat first before we go on any more rides, aren't we? We wanted to starving. go on that spinning coaster. Oh, I'm Little runaway. Oh, What's that? Oh, look. Oh, there's that blue one as well, the flying one. There's a little runaway train there. And um, whatever that is about to go round. I remember making a ride like this on Roller Coaster Tycoon. And now it's real? Yeah. You could have inspired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know what it's similar to? Uh, I don't know if you've seen it. Uh, the Queen Bee at Skegness. Oh, I haven't seen that one, but it looks a fun ride. We'll have to go on there. Yeah. If you allow. <laughs> yeah, Loads of kids' coasters, yeah. Theo definitely being his element. There's the monorail. That's the one that goes back and forth. Very slow. It would have been a bit faster than that. See, I can't remember seeing that monorail before. I do remember the monorail. I don't remember it. Uh, Velocity's back open. Definitely a ride to get on, Velocity. Definitely one after And then maybe a few more rides of six later on. Yep. There, there's flip flop there. Oh, flip flop, yeah. Oh, it does look quite weird. And a minute, that does does that go upside down? I wouldn't well, imagine it so. It doesn't go much higher than that. Oh really? So it's a bit like um, a free cow. Yeah. Interesting. What a find at a theme park. Coupland's very well known bakery in Scarborough, Bridlington, all over Yorkshire. And they have sausage rolls. What is that about? And I expected them to be quite expensive, but actually they weren't that expensive, if I'm honest with you. Sausage rolls in theme parks. More of that, please. Got an arcade there. I think they've got two arcades here. For anyone that's wondering. It's a nice looking arcade, isn't it? Yeah, very nice. fresh, that. It's a nice building. So what did you have for lunch? I had battered sausage and chips and some cheese straws, they're very tasty. Cheese straws cheese from straws. Koopalins. Koopalins, yeah, we need one of those. Every theme park needs a Koopalins. It's, it's a nice. bit like equated to having a Greg's at Pleasure Beach. It is, it's like a, I think it's a nicer version of Greg's. Oh, I rate their sausage roll, I've eaten all four of them. Yeah. And I had chips. The chips I got from the little chippy there. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't really rate them that much, and I thought that the sausage rolls were amazing. Co Kooplins. I keep calling it, I called it Copelands before, no? Kooplins. We do have um, one more main ride to do. Now, there's a lot more rides that we're going to be doing and vlogging, but one ride that I definitely need to get on is this. This is Velocity. I have done this before. It's one of the oldest launch coasters. It's not the oldest, because obviously we have like, uh, Revolution. Revolution, but this. I think this came after Rita, if I remember rightly. But the bikes, I, I'm sure they weren't that colour. Yeah, they've been painted since I was last year. I'm sure they were green. I think they were green. The track was green, wasn't it? I think the track was red. But I'm sure the uh, bikes were green. 
let's go for a ride on these bikes then. Preparation either, it just goes. Oh! Smooth brake hill as well. <laughs> Ooh. What a great coaster that is. Yeah, I think he's uh, doing some TikToks. What are you doing? Oh, just a little video. All oh, right. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a YouTuber, you know. <laughs> How did you, have you, have you done that before? Oh, I've done it loads of times. It's so good. It's one of those rides it's never seen to have got older or get slower with age. It's absolutely fantastic. I'd say that's now my number one ride at the park. Oh, it's changed again? It changes ride to ride, but that's my new favorite at the park. It's just so fast and different and unique. I, I, my, my eyes water every time I do it. I remember last time my eyes watered. It wasn't as bad this time, but as we came into the station, I hope it came out okay. It's quite hard to do that because you're leaning forward. So I had to reposition the camera up a little bit. So you place all my nose. <laughs> a nose Good cam ride. again. Paul's favorite yeah. nose cam. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag nose cam. They're the main ride completed now with all the POVs. Uh, apart from Hero, we couldn't film on Hero, which is unfortunate because you would have loved to hear our reaction on that, wouldn't you? Yes, I'm sure they would have. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a couple of other things. There's that spinning coaster over there. And... Uh, not fully sure what else there is. I'm hoping we can get on that water ride as well. We've got that water ride to go on as well. Yeah, we've got the water ride, we've got the big spinny chairs, we've got flip flop. Oh, we have flip flop? Yes. There's probably a couple of other things, a couple of kiddie coasters as well. There's quite a few yeah, things we haven't done yet. <laughs> You're not coming on them? Uh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> we'll just have video. I go with them. Theo, it's just a bit. Oh, look, Steve, Steve's got a good picture of us. Oh, wow. That's Act a good picture. Action shot. Yeah. The speed on that, I'm not too sure what the speed is. I think Rita's want uh, 0 to 60. I think it's the fastest coaster in the UK. Is it? No. no. <laughs> I don't think it's as fast as Rita, but when you're at the... But I think as well, you sat weird, you sat something between your legs, which I would, is... I would say it's better than Rita, because it's like you see the driving position being on a motorbike, that makes it unique. And I think, I would say it's better than Rita. Yeah, I, I think so as well, yeah. Right, shall we uh, find the next ride, wherever sure. that may be? Should we on that big spinny tower? <laughs> the weird looking star flyer. Uh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. But look at that. It's the weirdest... Oh, it looks like it used to be a full star flyer. Because you can see where the pins are. But they've uh, dropped it down. Look how weird it is. Looks a lot bigger than a fairground version, doesn't it? Like you'd see it hull. Uh, I'll do outside. So I usually don't fit in these. Oh. oh, actually, it's very roomy. 
Do you want to put your green belt on in the middle for me, guys? Yeah. Over, over both of us. Yeah. Well, one in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> not like a, not like a shared one. There you go, guys. Cheers, thank you. That has got to be the most roomiest seat ever on a it star flyer. It's squashes at all, is it? It's quite yeah. comfortable. I'm just going to have a little relax. Yeah. Oh. This is another ride. They might think I'm not wearing a chest harness. I am. I'm just moving the chest harness around. In this position. Yeah. Also, every single op has asked if we've had permission. We have, and we've got we've got written permission that we can film as long as we've got obviously the right kit. Yeah. And every like Paul says, everybody's asked permission, so it's obviously the park's strict on it, which is good. And it's also good that they'll let you film with the correct accessories. Yeah. And they don't allow anything else. This is the main thing they've asked for, isn't it? They like a chest mount. That's, yeah, that's all not, they can use. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, yeah, it's something different. I, I, I never film like this. It's totally different. It is unusual, isn't it? It's not very comfortable, but it's, you know, it's, it works. Also, I have to move it, so if I put it down now... Oh, it's, oh if I lean back, it's okay. Ooh, oh, we get a bell one. ring. Woo! What have we won? Right, that's... Uh, <laughs> do you wonder what one won this big star flyer? Also known as a big swing ride. To be fair, as I do this, I can move it around. Yeah, so I can, like I can do this, so there is... A bit of movement. You just can't see our faces. Whoa, this is fast. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I didn't think it would be this fast. Jeez, Aruni. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> I was expecting this. I have this. no idea what I'm pointing at. I'm hoping that wall's going to open. I'm not. Oh, it goes back down, aren't it? It goes back down. Oh, 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 oh wow, it's air time. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> But that, oh, it stopped now, but it did bounce. Oh, it's oh fast, my isn't goodness. It? Yeah. When you don't realise how high you are up when you're on it. Whee! I'm sorry if the playback's <laughs> not very good. I can't. I'm going to show you what it looks like down. Apologies for my screaming. Yeah. Whee! This is a fast start. Be a lot of wind noise as well. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> there we go, coming back down. Thank goodness. <laughs> it's <laughs> giving me anxiety. A lot of balls on the outside. We need to go on that spinning coaster next. Yeah. Oh, my legs. It's a long ride, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Oh, that was a good ride. That was very unexpected. I just expected it to be a nice, chilled, casual ride. It was pretty fast, wasn't it? That's but, probably the yeah, fastest star flyer I've ever seen. Absolutely, yeah. Really I suppose that's, uh, that's where your thrill comes These into play. Lovely ride up as well, really. Yeah, shout out to the ride up. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely massive. Crazy. Oh Thanks a lot. Yeah. I can't believe how fast that was. It was very, very, very faster and taller than you'd imagine. That's and brilliant, right? That. As you got to the top, it went back down it bounced and there was like a little bounce on it and it's like what is this that is probably one of the uh, thrill seeking rides of the park incredible i'm having to hold my gopro a bit weird because i haven't got it on uh, my thing but the um as we mentioned before and we said it before you need permission to film here so it's good they allow filming at a theme park because effectively that's what it is but you need permission in the first place. You can't just turn up and go, I've got a GoPro, I've got all the stuff. You need to have permission. It's good that they're all checking. Literally every single ride off has gone, can we just check you got? Check like they know they must be like, oh, I'm sure you've been asked so many times, but they've not seen us yet. If we go on another ride and film again, they play realize who we are again. And be like, yeah, yeah, we know. Um, but yeah, it, that was something else. That was really good. Blackpool Pleasure Beach needs one of those. Pleasure Beach <laughs> needs a massive one of those. That would be absolutely perfect fit. 
Is this the way in? Where's the entrance? Oh, it's around there. So we're going to go on. It's called Twistosaurus, which is the spinning coaster. It's an adult ride. It might be similar to what? It's not. I was going to say it's similar to um, the spinning coaster that we did at Pleasure it's Beach in Great Yarmouth, but that was a figure of eight. Where's this one? Does this. on it but hopefully if we sit on one side if they allow you to sit on one side they might be able to get a bit of that spin it's a more turn than a spin i think hmm for your safety please remain seated and keep your arms and legs inside the carriage the chance, really? yeah. <laughs> sat on the uh, same side hopefully we get a nice little spin or not. Uh, lean! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> what like big kids! Oh. Wonder how many times he goes around. Well, it's more than once. What is it? Oh. Oh, fast. That's underwhelming, isn't it? Uh, yeah, just the once. Oh, hang on. Wait. I'm gonna get Wait. And there's you about to <laughs> <laughs> take your seatbelt off. <laughs> I'm just about to take my seatbelt off and start going again. <laughs> <laughs> what was she talking about health and safety a minute ago? <laughs> That's me. Just stepping out the ride. Oh, mate, come here on, we board. go, let's feel, get some spins. I feel a good spin this time. Yeah, yeah. whoa! <laughs> Don't know about that. Maybe we have. Oh, that's more like it. Yeah, I like that. I, was bit, I feel like I'm on Spinball Wizard. <laughs> that's yeah. it. Now you know you've got a good spin. <laughs> Whee! Uh, oh, that was good, that. Second round was definitely best. Better yeah. than the first one. And we're still going. Ooh, oh, there uh, we go. That's the end. Oh, I'm dizzy. Well, oh, that made up for itself on the second one, didn't it? Yeah, that was actually quite fun. For a moment, I actually thought I was on um, Spinball oh, Wizard, <laughs> Elton Towers. Quite a good little. I wouldn't really. It is declared as a spinning coaster. We think. Now, I'm not coaster expert, and I don't know name of manufacturers, but we suspect it's a Sierra. 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 Something I don't like know. Z. If you know, please let me know. We're literally coming in at this park, not having a clue what we're talking about. It's just my life. Yeah. <laughs> well, you do. You should know these things. Oh, I don't know any of the manufacturers or anything. I know the rides and I like the rides, but I'm not really into the how many wheels they have and who makes them and things, because I can't remember. Just, yeah, for the fun of it. I just want to point out this ride behind you. Um, they have these at Legoland Discovery Centres. They've got one at Manchester. Um, I believe when you pedal, you go up. But I've never seen it outside because the one at Manchester's enclosed. Oh, is that yeah, it's, in, it's next to the Sea Life at Trafford Centre, um, which we have a vlog from 2019, by the way. Check it out if you want. <laughs> but yeah, they have that there. Um, I forgot what else there is to go on around here. What, what was the other rides? Can you remember? We've been on the spinny thing, the Triceratops spinner, whatever it was called. Yeah, no, I've done that bit. We've oh. been on that. Well, we haven't been. I haven't been on flip flop. Oh, that's all the way over fashion. there, isn't yeah. it? We need to find Stephen though. We've lost Stephen. We could always try and get on the Go Gator again. You know, I've already asked. We asked the guy <laughs> over there, can adults go on it? There's a sign saying, um, 
children only, but we thought maybe can adults go on with kids, but I don't think anybody can go on over a certain height, so unfortunately we failed there. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Highlight of the day so far? My highlight, oh, everything I've liked. Every coaster I like more than the last one, but no, I've loved everything. everything. Yeah, it's going to be hard to declare what the best ride is at the end of this vlog, seriously, because it's, it's a bit of an odd theme park, if you ask me. Like, there's so many different variety of rides that are so unique to the park. Mumbo Jumbo, unique. Um, the rest of them, the rest of them are the same, aren't they? No, the uh, hero. Mumbo Jumbo's unique. Yeah, though. heroes uh, on its own. Technically, uh, velocity is unique, just because of the the cars. There's over arcade. So I just thought I'd point it out. No one in there though. Um, and of quite a few coasters. Even the junior coasters are quite unique. Like that plain one. Uh, the the only one that's common is. Kala is it Kala I can never say it. Kalami? Kumali. Kuali. It's Kumali. Ku <laughs> is Kumali not a one? Kumali. Custom. It's not a custom design. <laughs> it is because it's not a standard SLC. We're not very Look good at theme park. People Seriously. Really I'm <laughs> we know nothing about theme parks. <laughs> you don't have to be to be a vlogger. Exactly. You just have to um, have a bit of crack. Yeah. And people to watch your videos. That's exactly. basically it. Right. We're going to go down here. Um, we're going to go on flip flop. This is a bit more it, uh, on my. Uh, my sort of thing because this is it's not a fairground ride but it's it's got its own take of one we're going the wrong way it's there and we need to cross the railway track you're not used to this part. no it's on me <laughs> um, yeah so it's a bit like a fairground it's a bit like a freak out but it's not a freak out um, it's got its own sort of right so we'll see when we get on it that's the wrong way as well <laughs> never good directions off me oh we know that now the runaway mine train. The one here. Um, probably not. Does it say no children, no adults? No, you're true. Should go on it. One point, one point zero four to go on that. Dino roller, as that's called. Oh, I'm just going to call it Nessie because it's the exact same as Nessie. Come that you'll be that. able to ride that. I've done that sort of ride before. Come on that. You can. I'm going on here. Okay. Well, sorry, I can you see carry on with your vlog. And yeah, we'll do. Here. Yeah, I'll carry on. Oh, I've got game stalls giant bucket over there but yeah look. this is just like Nessie go on then I'm gonna wait here see if you get spited oh, yeah that's why I'm not going on it <laughs> I'll get the off ride for you Hey, I've been persuaded on by Mark, who sat behind me. Was you that wanted to come on board? No, I didn't. I insist that, I insist that I'm going on the big rides, not the children's rides. <laughs> <laughs> I've done a few variations of this. It's no different to any other. But it does look like it goes faster than the other ones that I've done. So this could be the fastest one. This doesn't look very fast one. Now, wait until I get down there. I thought that thing was going to be Actually, they um, put the brakes on in the station on these. Yeah. It's also quite silent. Like, I know it's not silent, but it's the quietest one I've done. Yeah. <laughs> Looks amazing from here, though. Here comes the 
works. Look, he looks no different to the ones I know. He's called Nessie. It's a cute little thing, isn't he? Yeah. Fits with the park as well, with it being a uh, dino area. It's, I think it's the oldest ride of its type in this area, though. Getting some Insta shots there. Rather, in, rather enjoyable. Yeah, just, just so we see, um, it, it's the fastest. On Instagram. Oh, go on then. I'm sure Paul will put my links at the bottom. There you will be. You'll be under my... Oh, I, I need to change it to featured. Featured. To comment on featured celebrity. Oh, by the way, if you're watching this and you're a regular, there's no Theo shouts today because Theo's not with me. Uh, but don't don't ask for a Theo shout in this video because I, I won't be uh, checking it over. But do leave a comment. I've not even asked people to subscribe, you know. You haven't, so you don't. No, no well, you well, can I do, do if you want. So subscribe to Disney Mark on Instagram, <laughs> Disney Mark on TikTok and Mark Forrest on YouTube. No. Yes. If you want, you yes, can do. Yes. I'll leave the links I'll below. I'll not beg you though, but... Whatever. Yeah, yeah. I've not even asked. Uh, we've, um, yeah, our links are under there as well. well are, you, are you going on the wheel? Yeah, we can have a little chill on there. I'm not going to film this though. <laughs> I'll, uh, I won't do any on ride of that, otherwise it's going to be a bit... I don't know, but by the way, if you are watching this and you're not subscribed, you can subscribe for free. And we are on social media as well, which is Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. In fact, I've got a TikTok from this place, from uh, the drop tower, because it's quite unique. We're going to go on this, but I'm not filming it. Here's another unique ride. This is Flip Flop. Flip Flop. Oh, what a name. That's how you pronounce it. Flip Flop. Mm. The French accent. Oh, what's this? Splash oh, is it one of those things we shoot people? Yeah, and they're really cool. Ah, they're paying them. And it's a, it's a shame it's not more submerged because that's how the boats are at Alton Towers, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, it looks like you get a bit wet on that. I wonder what height it is for this. Let's have a look. 1.37. Oh, is it? Wow. That's a really high. Or is it 1. Point... Oh, it used to be 1.07. And then they've changed it. Wow. That's probably one of the uh, most tallest rides you need to be for this, to, to, to be able to go on it. Let's see what it's like. For your safety, you should remain seated and keep your arms and legs inside the carriage. <laughs> for your safety, you should remain seated and keep your arms... Well, this is different. So it should be a bit like a freak out, this. It's on the outside. Yeah. <laughs> I smell fish and I don't know why. Well, actually, I think it is as high as it used to be. I thought, I thought, I don't know, there's, there's no intensity to it, that's the problem. I mean, there is a bit, but not, not like, not like a free car. Oh, On it though, don't you? Pardon? Get a while on it. It's long, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, the height is uh, quite a lot lower than a freak out is. Flip for lock. You know what's a shame? What? They haven't 
they've done anything with this. It looks like there was water in here. Yeah, there normally is water. There's normally water and these um, funnel things are normally like fountains coming out the top, so they yeah. probably have problems with the pump or something. Maybe. Shame that really, but compare I know you'd be like, oh, we can't compare it to a freak out, but in, in hindsight, I am comparing it to a freak out. It doesn't go as high and it's not as intense. For it, for it to be a 1.4 ride though, I don't know. We've got three carts that are more extreme than that at 1.2. Never mind. But I think it used to be, according to this, when you look at it, I think it used to be 1.07. So in theory, 1.07 is really short. So. It's different the seats though, remember. The seats, the whole gondola is new. So it okay. used to have like a round continuous gondola. So maybe the height was different or something on it. Maybe this is lower or higher than it was before so maybe maybe, maybe due to insurance could be down all sorts of things yeah it could be loads of things and that's I suppose you gotta have an open mind about that uh we've still got that what i don't even know it's called water coaster <laughs> the big water ride yeah can we do that now yeah yeah because my battery's on i don't know what it's on it's on like 35 percent i can't miss that out We do have some good theming though, like this is like a flying section. Plane, plane and flying clowns and then you've got the dino section and then we've got water section. So I can see where the theming's going. Oh. Speaking of water rides, come on you. Let's go. Have you got a poncho? You don't need a poncho. Just a pole. If you wanted us to go on. No, yeah. Yep. That is right. Hopefully it is. Are we going the right way here? I don't know. Oh, you've got to go all the way over. I think they just... Yeah, you got to go all the way down here. Uh, yeah, there. Yeah, I think so. So you got to go all the way up here and all the way down. I think they've only got one boat running anyway. But it doesn't matter because they're waiting for us to get there by the looks of it. And then you go all the way up and then all the way down this. I definitely haven't done this before. Oh no, there is another boat, it's there. Yeah. Wow. I don't think at the back you'll get that wet. I think you get wet, more wet than I thought. Right, <laughs> let's go on. Right, bit of water time. We <laughs> oh, can't even turn it. Thanks, Paul. No, no, no problem at all. I've uh, been looking forward to getting you on this. I love getting wet on a quite chilly day. Yeah, yeah in Scarborough. I wouldn't really say it's chilly. But we'll be after it was like this. Oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it though, Paul. I do like the water rides. And you get to see all these animals and stuff on the ride, so it's a bit of a, a water safari. Yeah. And uh, we're in the chest mount again on this one, so hopefully I don't get this too much. I'll see, I guess. I'll just see the back of that. Mm. Well, yeah, that's, I've sat sort of left of that so you don't get that in the way either. But it's a bit weird, it's like a lazy river, this, isn't it? Yeah. But then again, log flumes are like that, aren't they? They go around a very. It's like a slow log flume. Yeah. Got chickens in there. Well, whatever they are. <laughs> this is a nice part of the ride, seeing the animals. Oh, yeah. That nest. <laughs> nest is massive. <laughs> We've got <laughs> nowhere near yet. 
Like, it's still got a bit to go. <laughs> I wonder if it was a uh, trigger. No, you know, like a water. Vortex. Yeah. Uh, come on, is it? Yeah. I reckon that's what used to be here. Yeah. No, they don't use it anymore. Oh, they're all full of moths. I don't think they've worked for a while. <laughs> Someone does sit in there. Minding their own business. Yeah. <laughs> Must be boring to sit in there, though. <clears throat> That's where all this green water gets filtered and comes out crystal clear. <laughs> I would lift your toes up if I was you, just to stop the water from you. First drop. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> that really oh, came over. Did you see that? Yeah. Not with just going off this little lift. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Just jumped out. laughs> I'm just gonna show everyone that. That water proper came over then, didn't it? That wasn't even the drop. That was literally just turning around the corner. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, your feet are wet already. <laughs> It goes believe. through here very slow, doesn't it? I can't it? believe I'm going to punch you on and I can't believe I'm on here. Is your feet wet? No. No, mine's soaking. <laughs> this has got to be the slowest water ride that I've ever been on. No. Oh, here we go. I think we're going on top of the uh, <laughs> the edge now. If we get wet, the uh, the sound get... might go a bit distorted. Let's get the view quickly before we go over. Here we go. Oh, there's the drop. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my knees. It, oh, it doesn't prepare you for that. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Well, um, we're a bit wet. <laughs> Stripping off your nose. I'm not too bad, to be fair, Paul. I'm wet, but I'm not sort of Valhalla wet or soaking, soaking wet, but I'm quite wet. Now, obviously, <laughs> I've edited that, so it's uh, a lot shorter than it actually was. So how long was it? 11 and a half minutes that ride was. 11 and a half From minutes start to finish. Back. It was so <laughs> slow. I've never known anything like it. Um, oh, that is really good. That drop was really good. I've got long legs. What I wasn't prepared for is when the boat hits the water, the boat instantly slows down speed and you shouldn't forward. So bang my knees across the front. I was like, oh. but I thought water was going to fall onto me. It must have done because I'm absolutely drenched. But yeah, it was, um, it was all right. I, hope, I don't know if you can hear me because obviously the mic might have got blocked by the, um, the water. So hopefully you can hear me. But uh, yeah, that will, well, we've still got more rides to do, but we're towards the end of the vlog now because my battery is getting really low. 11 and a half minute ride that was. <laughs> oh, we also found out what it's called. It's called the Lost River Ride. It's probably because they keep losing boats because they... No, that joke was terrible. But that's what it's called. <laughs> well, then, that's the end of the vlog here and our time at Flamingo Land. I am using my phone. My battery on my GoPro, or both batteries, have died. So I'm using my phone to do the uh, end of the vlog. But what a fantastic time, genuinely saying that, here at Flamingo Land, hasn't it? It's been an absolutely brilliant day. Both of us weren't sure what to make of Flamingo Land, because neither of us have been for a long time. It's been absolutely brilliant, it's been a perfect day. The staff have been brilliant, the rides have been brilliant, the weather's been brilliant. It's been rather brilliant. Yeah, and it's been great to be able to get POVs of the rides as well, so thank you to Flamingo Land for allowing us to do that as well. Um, 
But yeah, if you are wanting to come here and film, you do need permission before you do it. So just bear that in mind. We haven't just done it free willingly. You do need permission. Favourite rides? There's actually quite a few different rides. Obviously, sick behind us. First time experience of sick was, well, quite literally sick itself. But um, it's, it's actually, I didn't know this. It's actually a sponsorship. I didn't know that. It's actually a brand called Sick Silk. And until you go into the shop, you don't realise that. Someone told me there was a hairdresser's in there. That wasn't there. It was there, but it was closed. Oh, was it? Yeah, it's a little glass box with a barber shop in it, but I don't think they ever open it. Ah. There is a few things about this. The mist is a little bit OTT, if I'm honest with you. You will have noticed during the POV... <laughs> You've got new hair, It's like it's been wet and blow-dried and start wet the mist. During the POV, you will have noticed a lot of water on the lens, and that's due to... About, I think it's twice you go through a tunnel full of mist. It's a lot over the top, but it adds to the effect. And that, those inversions there, as you can see behind us, well, kind of there. We did, we've been on it four times, at least. We've been at the once at the front, twice at the back and one in the middle. And the back is very weird. It throws you, but it's, it's quite a smooth coaster when you watch it go round. It's, it's really good, isn't it? It is smooth, but when you go around this twisty thing that you can see here, you're really thrown out of the car, so it is quite a bit of dramatic, but it's a really good coaster, that's a really good ride. A couple of other rides to mention, Mumbo Jumbo. Crazy ride, love that so ride. good, so good ride. It's probably one of my favourites. Um, the drop tower or launch tower, whatever it's cliffhanger, that was also a good ride. Um, just briefly touch on um, the what's it called, hero? Hero. Um, I think to ride it, <laughs> to ride it once, definitely. I do. silly. I do want to get Theo on it. He's tall enough. Twice just I think stupid. we did do it twice. We um, we did. My arm's aching from this. We did um, change position, so I did the right hand side, and that was crazy. The sides of the the ride itself. When you sit down, obviously I didn't take any uh, POV of that, unfortunately. But um, when you're going round those corners, it throws you. <laughs> it's like um, being squashed inside of a toaster. Because there's a you're lying down like this. Your face is through there. <laughs> there's something behind you, so you're like squashed at all angles. It's, uh, it's an unusual ride, put it that way. You call it toaster. It's like a toaster, it is really. It's like a toaster. Uh, but overall, like the general park feel very, very quiet here as we expected it, but not this quiet. Um, I've learned a lot from this park. There's a caravan park to the side that's attached to this. I never knew that. Um, there's no hotel, which I'm assuming is for the whole caravan park malarkey there. They have the zoo, which we briefly walked around as well. Um, oh, and this crazy thing. Forgot about that. That, that, is, that star flyer <laughs> is something else. Really uh, something else. Now, of course, Thank you so much for watching uh, the vlog. You can see Mark's as well. Mark will have his own version. There's Sick going round. Um, which, he, which is all in the description below, but you can subscribe to this channel as well. It's completely free to do, which is, uh, well, just below us. Follow us on our social media platform, which is Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok as well. There'll be a TikTok, and he's on TikTok too. My arm is <laughs> aching. Camera, camera aching. <laughs> yeah, my battery's all died. Um, but yeah, would I come back here? Yes, I would. And I'm, I actually do want to bring Theo here. So I think um, in a future video, there he is. <laughs> in a future video, I do want to get Theo back here and get his take on it as a seven-year-old or maybe next year as an eight-year-old. Um, yeah, I do recommend coming here. £35 it was to do this. That was online. Online. I did it two days before. So... You might think, oh, that's quite expensive. But for the day and the actual variety of rides that we got today, we've well worth got a good it. Value. We've been here from 10 till 5. We've been on most rides a few times. It was quite quiet today, so we could just stay on a few of the rides. So we've definitely got good value for £35. Free parking as well. Yeah, free parking. I was about to mention that. Pounds. So £35 is really good value. And it's, it's a really good park. It was absolutely immaculate as well. It's got a reputation for being a little bit dirty and the staff not being the best. But it's been completely different this time. It's been fantastic. Yeah, you mentioned this to me about this park having that sort of reputation. So I was a bit like, well, we'll see how it goes. And do you know what? It, it's, it couldn't be any further from the truth yeah, of what he was saying it's obviously changed Mark's mind as well based on that yeah definitely so respect so you know hopefully I don't know if you've watched this to think or oh, what's here or whether you just watch for the entertainment value but if you're watching this do get here it's not actually that bad at all but yeah
totally recommend coming. Absolutely. If you've got kids, if you're just adults, there's so much for all ages. There's big coasters, little coasters, big rides, little rides. The zoo's really nice. They've got things like sea lion shows and stuff. So there is stuff for all ages. I would totally recommend a day here, I really would. Fair, before we go, favourite ride, Mark? Favourite ride, probably... Oh, I don't know. I'll say sick. Sick was probably the best ride. That one and Mumbo Jumbo, I would yeah, say. Yeah, I'm going to agree with that. I'll go with sick. Um, I wouldn't, I don't rate most coasters in top tens. I wouldn't rate it massively high compared to what I've done in the past, um, in my opinion. Mumbo Jumbo is up there as one of my favorites, weirdly enough. But for today, I, I have rated this. But we've done, we've done Mumbo Jumbo twice. Both times, it's just been, it's just, it's just a laughing coaster, it's isn't it? It's a fun it? ride, it really is a fun ride, because it's so unusual. Right, well that's it. Thank you so much for joining us. Subscribe if you've not already subscribed before. Follow us on our social media platforms. Follow him and check out his version of events <laughs> here. And um, I'm thankful that we're actually dry after that. that we didn't get too coaster. wet. We didn't get too wet. Well, for myself, Mark and Stephen, wherever he's gone. Stephen's in the car. We'll see up. you soon. <laughs> Take care. See you later. Bye.